Well, we in Clinton have a unique school. It was founded in 1866 as the Goddard Grammar School. It was founded over on Rattenbury Street. The demand for secondary education increased to the point that two years later in 1868, South Sea explorer Horatio Hale petitioned the Ontario government to allow Clinton to have a high school. And the petition was granted, but this is kind of a unique situation because this was the first school where they counted funding for girls as equal to funding for boys. Previous to that, they counted a girl as half of a funding unit that they did a boy. So two girls had to equal one boy. So in 1875, they bought the land that we're on here now, and they built a uh, beautiful second empire style building with a uh, mansard roof and the center block tower with a flagpole at the top, and made the Clinton High School, created the Clinton High School here. In 1885, James Turnbull, who was a classics master and headmaster of the school, he was able to have the school designated a collegiate, meaning that it taught the classics, Latin, Greek. They used to say a gentlewoman or a gentleman ought to know, and so it was designated a collegiate in 1885, and about that time, the school's motto, Hink Lucum and symbol, the Lamp of Learning, was established and it comes from Cambridge University, meaning from this place, light. The colours red and blue, which are also the town colours, were also selected at that time. In 1894, they had their first full-scale three-day commencement service and the school served the community and the area well for uh, about half a century. The school was Clinton Collegiate Institute until about 1946 when it became Clinton District Collegiate Institute then again with busing and as the school ex expanded it became Central Huron Secondary School. And Central Huron Secondary School today is one of the more vibrant school communities in the area. We are in the oldest building still used as a schoolhouse in Huron County. And over the last 152 years the high school has seen many changes in Clinton and the greater community. We've seen the radar school come and go, we've had cadets, we still have the rifle range, the vestige of the rifle range in the basement. But through it all Central Huron Secondary School has been a constant and it's educated generations from the central part of the county for over 150 years since before Confederation and we're very proud of that.